Hey guys, Maxilla Gaming here, and I have done a graphical setting that makes the game look a little better. It may be slightly slower, but um, that's that's what you gotta do. Now I've discovered within the settings that there are there's no perfect middle ground, it seems, and either sacrificing speed or quality, visual quality. So if we had to, we, I might just go back to the older visual quality, but it seems that this game is very stable currently. You see that? What? Let me just kill it, just in case. Yeah, there's there's little animals around this world. There's, n there's no deer. There's like, there are fish, there are little turtles. There are, okay, yeah, it was one. There are lizards, but if you didn't know, here's a little tip. All of these safe shrines, including the Shrine of Worship, but the Shrine of Worship one is really hard, like it's rare, like you don't usually see it. You'll come by it eventually. It's a mega lizard, it's it's huge, it's, but it, it's it, like, it, it, it hides, it's, it's very hard, hard to find. So apparently what happens is the Shrine of Worship is a massive place and it could be anywhere within it. At the top, or like, like, let's just look at it. It could, it could be near the top. It could be in any given spot of that shrine of worship. In any given spot, like, it could be right there. It could be down here. And when the lizard comes down, I mean, it'll just and I kill it. it. Just gives me a little bit of stamina. Any lizard at these shrines will give you stamina. I think the one at the shrine of worship gives you the most out of any lizard. But it's not like a holy crap! You have instant crazy stamina. Now the best way to get stamina in this game is to just defeat all the colossi. You get a lot. Uh, every time you defeat one, you get more stamina. But um, that's the bridge I had to go across. It's pretty good. Graphical settings are much better. This was the shrine, I think, that I was looking for. <laughs> yeah, this game looks much better. So, there's native yeah. graphics quality, which looks like DS settings. Two times native, which what looks close to the original game. I think three times native looks just like how it should be. Yeah. But, the game is like, it, it starts to drop when I'm on three times native. Yeah, so I would like to save here. Rav ravine entrance. Now there should be another lizard on this place. Sometimes it can be really tricky to get the lizards. Oh, there it is. Wait, is that it? Yes, that's it. Yes, I'm a god. Sometimes it's really, <laughs> sometimes it's really hard to get these lizards. They can constantly scur around. They can walk across any fucking part of this shrine or whatever, and not be phased. Do I have to? I, I guess I have to go around this bush. But. Like, legit, like, they can climb on any surface, and endless amount of times, and they can run across the surface freely, so. It can be really annoying when it's, like, right here, and then it, like, dips down and goes inside. And, yep, my stamina's slightly better. I'm gonna save again, so that this... I'll have to kill the lizard again. I'll just be a quick save. Okay. Now, time to go into the ravine. Because this is where the Colossi reside. Don't worry, it's not like the Colossi could ambush us somewhere so at some point within this ravine. Oh my god, the brightness. What if this brightness... What if the game's brightness wasn't like this? Wasn't... 
This is not the right ravine. Yeah. It's slightly yeah. over here. What if this game's brightness like the way it was in this game was in rainbow? It would be terrible. There are certain times where this brightness yeah. is like so bad. Like when I enter like out into the desert, yeah. I'll be like in an open, vast area. And I'll, I, when I first enter it, I'll see nothing but solid white. Yeah. Now, if you saw that lizard, I don't mind it. There are many lizards in this world, but the white-tailed lizards are the only one that gives you stamina. And the white-tailed lizards are the only are only found at those little shrines I was telling you about. So, like, see this lizard? Just a regular black old lizard. This is the correct ravine. Just a regular lizard, right? Yep. I'm not gonna look at these lizards because I know that none of them will give me stamina. None of them at all. Just the shrine ones. So don't get anything special. So this. Yeah. This is where I face the next colossi. Yeah. This is like a, a lake platform. Mysterious. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, yes, of course. I oh, this is the performance drop I was telling you about. Oh, well, it's back to normal. Hopefully, it won't persist. Agro can't swim, so I've got to swim for him. Yep, it's literally just swimming. Like, I can't go any faster. I think maybe I, if I swim underwater, I might be able to go slightly faster. I don't think jumping in the water will make you go any faster. In fact, I think it makes you go slower. This was the part, this is the third Colossi, if you guys haven't been paying attention. This is the very part, that, I had to jump from this platform to that, like, pillar to there. And this is the part where, with the keyboard, it's so freaking hard. But I guarantee, or I, I don't guarantee, but I bet I'll get on my first try with this controller. Like, it's going to be much easier. Or maybe the second if I fail. But, but that's, uh, that's where I fight him. Obviously, that... What could it be? Where's the Colossi? Maybe it, the Colossi is right beyond that pile of dirt right there. Right? Uh, yeah. Boom! First try. Like, it, it took like 20 tries with a keyword. That's why, for this reason exactly, I was waiting <laughs> to get my freaking uh, PS2 controller and adapter. I did not want to play the game with that one. It's so hard. All I gotta do is climb up here, and there's so many of these things. Just up, up. Where could the Colossi be? Oh my gosh, where is it? It's not like, it's totally not like right there. Let me, let me check with my sword where it is. Uh, I don't know, where is it? I don't know. <gasps> let me, let me, let me. Oh, right there. There it is. Oh, its health bar appeared before in getting up. I oh yeah, I changed. I, I didn't know if I mentioned this, but I changed the audio settings, and I do not know if it'll majorly affect this game. It doesn't sound like it's any worse. Ooh. Hopefully, the eyes of this colossi will look much better. It's gonna look perfectly round. I, I'm not close enough to tell. Ooh. 
Ooh, this guy. This guy. Ooh, this man. This man. Gaius, I'm pretty sure. The, sec the one that we fought. The first one, his name was Valus. Second one was Quadratus. And this one's Gaius. To me, in the face, he looks like a bush baby. He's got a sword. He's a warrior. Now, I already know what to do. You have to get on a sword, but if you look at his arm, there's no way to get past that ring on his arm. Like, it's impossible. I'm like, let me try. Unless... Ooh, I was gonna do try. Oh my gosh, that will hurt. Holy crap! Run! I don't want to stay close to this man. Okay, I've got to lure him away from that platform in the center, because that's our key. Sometimes it's not just what you can do to the colossi, but it's the environment that the Colossi has to do with to cause your path to unveil. Oh, there's a slight chop right there. You could hear with the audio going on. Okay. Attack me. Just attack. Oh, don't, don't, don't stomp on me. Just use your sword straight down. Help. Use your sword straight down. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. He's doing it. Okay, now I'm. He's at a distance and he's not. He's busy with his sword. I can have him hit this platform. Oh, he's attacking right now. Whoa! Hit it, baby! Boing! Like hitting a massive gong, dude. That must have hurt. Like, you just hit pure metal. Like, that was a metal plate right there. <laughs> that like ripped half the ring off, dude. Uh, if he hits the thing again, he won't. It won't work. Like his sword won't be in the ground. I've got to get his sword to stick into the ground so that I have at least some time to get onto his fucking sword. This music. This game is, this and Pokemon, in my opinion, are the best OSTs ever. Ooh. Let's climb on it as fast as possible, because he does not dilly-dally. Ah. I'm, I'm clung to it. He, ooh. He likes to stabilize the sword. Good for me. Ah, yes! This Colossi took a little bit more effort than Quadratus. I may not even have to rest at the little rest on his arm. I will. I'm just gonna drop to it. Wait one second. Okay, and not that I was just checking my time. It's oh, he's swinging. Ooh, not too much. I, I can climb. Look at that environment twitching in the background. Let's see if you can see the actually see the vital spot and have it not be effed over. He's gonna scratch his head, but he doesn't want to scratch. The vital is not as visual. Oh, there's you can see the circles of that is his eyes. I, 
I guess you can see it better. The real test to see if the vigils are good enough is if the shadows after I kill this man will actually be figures and not clouds of figures if you know what I mean. Oh my god, my stamina, my freaking stamina. No! Oh! 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 oh, oh, oh I'm on his waist. That's okay. This is another vital spot. I'll just do this one. It's, this one's easier to hit. Because if he shakes a lot, then I can just go onto his hip. Oh my gosh. Let me just hit you. Let me striketh at the vitals. Let me striketh at the blue weak spot. Yeah, you can't see that vital at all because of the graphical settings. It would be right blue and easy to see, but I know where they all are on every class, I don't worry. <laughs> Holy crap, this might be a much longer fight. Oh my gosh! Your shaky shakes. Yeah, that's what the that's what's supposed to look like. But that's that's what it glows the most. Let's see it. One second. Okay, I'm gonna end this episode here, uh, cliffhanger. And you'll be able to in the next episode pick it off, pick it up right where I left off. Um, just to let you guys know that right there, that icon that appeared, that is Quadratus's face. And that icon right there is Valus's face. That's the first and second colossi that. And those are the shrines that I saved at. Every time I defeat a Colossi or go to a shrine, it will appear on the minimap, and I'll know where to go to get to it. So, uh, thanks for watching this episode. Stay tuned for the next one.